If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden NFL 21 coins, head over to my sponsor, EasyMutt.com, and use code MONTY for 5% off at checkout. Links in the description below. Enjoy. What is going on, YouTube? And welcome back to another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video. And guys, in this video today, we're going to be going over the best coin making methods in Madden 21 right now, right before Series 6. You know, grind up the, that coin count right before Series 6 starts. So, uh, let's get into it. Before we get started, you guys already know what the deal is. 100k giveaway every single Monday, man. So, if you are new, subscribe, comment 100k down below, and smash that like button to enter the 100k giveaway, man. So, let's get into it. So, like I was saying, man, Series 6 is uh, it's right upon us. I'm pretty sure it's this Friday. Even if it's not, this video is still valid. So, I was actually going to do a how to prepare for Series 6. But I didn't know if Series 6 was like a definite or not, so I thought might wait for like tomorrow to get like the thumbs up. I'm pretty sure they already announced it. Not sure though. I'm not going to take a chance. But best coin methods in must. So we're going to start off, guys, with a way to prepare for Series 6, being we were going to do that video. Um, guys, Series 5 isn't over as we know. So uh, get this Sam Mills interceptions challenge done along with the force team fumbles challenge done and you get a 350k easy easy coins right there and uh go and get your samples interceptions and solos and do your xp get your max level 90 a bunch of ways to make coins and uh training i guess too you get some free packs and stuff like that so i mean there's a bunch of ways to get like stuff if you level up and if you get that for series 5 done not even just series 5 get the rest of these done get your samples upgrade get your 30k 25k whatever man get it done man so that's basically like the main way to prepare for series uh, six is get your level up, get your coin count up, get your trophy, uh, not trophies, get your training up and get your level up. So that's basically how to prepare and uh, get some coins and grind that up right there. And now, <clears throat> whoa, now we're going to talk about mainly coins. Guys, if you have trophies right before we get started into the coins, like I said, if you have trophies, guys, spend it all on red zone packs. Don't waste your time and only take the quick sell. Do not take the actual pack. Like I said, only take the red zone pack. These trophies won't be valid anymore. You won't get them as you'll like, say you have like a thousand trophies, guys. Grind up the red zone packs, man. Don't waste your time because you're not gonna, uh, you're not gonna be able to keep them. You're not, you're gonna, if you have a thousand trophies, you're not gonna get all of them. You're gonna get like, I don't even know how much. I'm just gonna say from 300 to like 500. I'm not sure. So spend those trophies. Don't waste them if you know what I'm saying. Get them all, get them all gone. So now it's time to get into all the coin making methods, man. And uh, you guys saw D Hop on that front page, and that's because this Mutt Master is, yo, our Mutt Heroes is still a huge way to make some coins. I mean, insane. You get four, you get eight free 94 or 95s, actually. They are tradable and auctionable, so you can quick sell them for training, you can sell them. And you also get you get eight ninety fives and four ninety threes. That's insane. Net, wait, yeah, I'm right on that. Yeah, all right, I'm not right on that. So four ninety threes and eight ninety fives. You can get four ninety seven overall Mutt Heroes players. You can do that, or you can just sell them, or you can just sell the ninety fives and ninety threes. Quick sell the ninety three for trading. Quick or right, and sell the ninety fives. That's what I did. Hey, and that's a pretty that's the best method in the game. I think those are the best methods in the game right now is grind up these mud heroes, if I'm being completely honest. Um, free agency. This is a really good um, method right now, too. So let's go over to the free agent set. JJ Watt and Dak Prescott. I want to say they're around 400k each. Guys, if you play the solos of the free agency, you get a free 96. The only thing you need for these two sets are a 96 and or and another 96 you need two 96s and the, this is pretty simple all right let's just say i'm gonna get jj watt we got a 96 overall from the challenges and we go buy one for 225k guys and the jj watt's going for 400k you're gonna make an 100 plus k profit if you just sell the jj watt i mean this is super easy you play some solos you get your 96 you put them in the set you buy the other and you just sell it I mean, this is a super easy coin method as well. I could literally do it right now if I wanted to, but I actually already did it. That's why I have 99 JJ Watt. And uh, this coin method right here is super, super simple, man. Um, got a few more coin methods for you guys. And um, 
they all work for I, everybody's gonna have at least one coin making method to do watching this video so the money heroes i talked about the free agency i talked about sugar rush is over so no longer sugar rush uh what else we got we have team infinity here if you guys do the team diamonds series five challenges you get a free full player that you need for one of these sets so let's just say i get khalil mack guys if you buy the rest of these players or actually no let's not do kyle long let's say um Let's just say Braylon Edwards. I don't believe he had a power up already. If he did, then do got guys do a power up that has not been in the game already. You guys want to do this now because once Series Six starts, these power ups will probably be in packs. So let's just say it shows Jack Conklin. I'm gonna buy the rest of these guys and I'm gonna sell this Braylon Edwards and his power up. Probably make around a milli and then in profit make a few hundred k. Um, if you guys don't understand, just hit me up in the comment section below. Basically, you're just gonna play the solos, get your free team of the year or whatever player you want to choose like i said if you if you want to just get these players for like cheaper with their power up then do the sets and put whatever set you want like i'd rather like i wanted darius hayward bay and like let's say i chose waller from doing the sets or from doing the challenges and i would buy the rest of these or do some exchanges to maybe get 85s and then um that's it i would have my edward uh my hayward bay and my power buy them for cheaper than if i bought both on the auction block and so what basically i'm saying is just do the opposite is just sell them and you'll make profit by just doing all of that so pretty good core method right there it depends on who you choose obviously and um i would choose like i said if you aren't you gotta choose a player with no power up or with yeah with no power up before team diamonds series 5 came out uh so make sure you do that let's go over to archive i mean i, I posted this coin method yesterday and this is probably the best coin method in the game right now i mean it's pretty quick it's pretty easy and i mean you can't go wrong with it i mean you really make a good profit this julio jones right here grind the 82 overall fresh exchanges the reason i'm playing this last because i already talked about it yesterday i didn't want to put it front and center again so 82 overall fresh player grind the exchanges up for the 50 get this julio jones you don't even have to get all 32 of these you can literally just get like let's just say i don't even know but let's just say 20 you can only get like 20 by the rest let's see what they're going for i'm not even sure anymore the, yesterday they're going for 8k 7k now um, 7.5 that's fine. That's absolutely perfect if we're being completely honest. So that Julio Jones, let's go take a look what that Julio Jones is actually going for right now because he's going for a good amount. Let's see if he's still going for 300K. He was going for 300K when I posted that coin making method yesterday. And if he's going for 300K again, this coin method could be like really, really good. I mean, it's a I think he's still going for 300K. We'll, we'll take a look. Any Julio Jones card you guys pull, like now the 86 is going for 42K. Any Julio Jones card you pull, guys. 275k still fire it's crazy because the 98 is like just well not really but it's like 200k off of that 92 pretty crazy to me and uh i feel like i have another coin making method but i don't think i do because the sugar rush not being here anymore really did kind of ruin that so i want to say that's pretty much it for the video guys if you guys can enjoy this video smash that like button subscribe if you are new turn on that noti bell and join the noti gang hope you guys did enjoy this video thank you guys for watching peace